And we do have some new reporting with our CNBC investigative team on how all of this unraveled at FTX. According to a source familiar with company operations, the quant trading firm founded by Sam Bankman Fried, Alameda, was using customer funds from Bankman Fried's crypto exchange, FTX, in a way that flew under the radar of investors, employees, and auditors. We spoke to sources who say FTX and Alameda kept these assets off of their balance sheets, and FTX drastically underestimated the amount it needed to keep on hand if customers wanted to cash out. Part of that issue it was the way that the exchange was accounting for margin trade. So according to the source, it allowed clients to borrow crypto from each other, and it was not properly tracking the value of those. Alameda was also trading on margin and using a cryptocurrency created by the FTX exchange called FTT as collateral. We also spoke to some current and former employees who say it was a small inner circle that knew about this alleged mishandling of funds. Bankman Fried declined to comment on that, but he did tell CNBC a margin position took a hit, as he put it. A lot of other news, guys, over the weekend when it comes to FTX. Some users appear to have found a way to move money off of the exchange through essentially a backdoor in the Bahamas. Data from Argus telling me it found unusual trading patterns when it comes to NFTs. Some of those digital collectibles that traded for about $9 a few weeks ago, we're selling for as much as $10 million this week on FTX. Argus says those patterns suggest desperate customers were looking to users in the Bahamas for help, since that was really the only jurisdiction allowing customers to cash out. Bahamas police, meanwhile, say they are now investigating FTX and whether any criminal misconduct occurred. FTX also suffering a suspected hack over the weekend. Its new CEO and restructuring officer says it's in the process of moving customer assets offline. As a result, data from Elliptic puts the potential damage at around $477 million. We also just heard from Binance CEO Chang Peng Zhao in a Twitter Spaces talk. He walked away from that deal to bail out FTX just last week. Here's what he said. The stuff that happened at FTX is, like surpri is extremely surprising to everyone. Um, I mean, if I was writing a fiction, I couldn't imagine this stuff up gave some advice to crypto traders in this environment. He said, if you don't know what's going on, just hold a couple of years and this will all blow away. He also says Binance doesn't have loans or debt. He says they don't owe anybody money. But he did question the liquidity of some smaller exchanges out there. He also said nothing is, is uh, risk-free, as he put it.